How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with some more Historic Brawl. We're trying out Mirror again. My last Mirror attempt did not go great, I don't think. So we're going to give it... Ooh, that's worse. Significantly worse. Um, hmm. Keep, I guess. One red land. Mountain can go to the bottom. There we go. Um... Yeah. Mira, she's a really interesting commander. She's a gruel artifact commander, right? And that's in itself a bit of a weird thing. Um, so I prepared two other decks uh, that I've been working on too. And I think that this is one of the ones I'm working on at the moment that kind of falls in the silly category. Like in theory, we have we have Mira, and then we have a bunch of non-token artifacts, and then we use them to generate uh, mainly mana, right? I guess we're gonna play an action adulter. Yeah, Alter is actually really good with Mira because you can tap it with Mira to make a green mana. So what do I want to do here? I have access to six mana. I probably just want to uh ramp a bunch. I don't know. As I've grown as a historic brawl deck maker, one of the things I've learned is that just having a lot of mana is probably better than most things. Uh, we do not want to sacrifice Mira. If she gets killed, that's fine. Getting over your upkeep, you may sacrifice a token. If you do, put an acorn counter on it. It's better. The grills get plus one, plus one for each counter on it. It's a little dark, honestly. So you kill a squirrel to make your other squirrel stronger. Hey, but they've made two squirrels. It's been a while since I've played around with Chaos Wand, and I wanted to give it a go, so a lot of the recent decks I've been making have just been jamming a Chaos Wand. Because why not, right? Why not? Let's uh, see what we can grab. for cultivating. Uh, green and then probably a red land. Does not look like a fully functional mana base. Mira. I know you want to tap artifacts for green mana, but... cast you because you're just being annoying but the auto tapper does not does not figure these kind of things out very well did not realize that she was such a complicated commander in that regard 
Although it's good, something good to learn, right? Like, you don't really know how these commanders play until you sit down and build a deck out of them. And I'm pretty sure we built a mirror deck before, but I don't think she was as complicated, and that's probably because we weren't running as many uh, mana-producing artifacts. So like, it doesn't make much sense for us to use Mira to tap a Gilded Lotus to make a green mana when you could tap the Gilded Lotus to make three green mana, right? Nathalroy? Nothing to get, so... It's just Grills and Nathalroy. Uh, let's kill Nathroy, I guess. And um, we'll make a treasure. And one of the problems with going with the uh, going with the mana rock plan for Mira's abilities is like a we already mentioned that most of them tap for more than one green mana anyway, so it's not really necessary. But two, if you tap them all for mana, well, if you tap them. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that the second ability, when you use it to actually dig for cards, it cuts you off mana, right? So the way around that is, I think, making treasure. Because I think if you make treasure, because treasure can't be used for this ability. Uh -huh. uh, no blocks. I will take six. Our opponent has... N hey, it's a leveler. Mana. Let's level that. And then let's see if we can find something to play. And we can play a sling relief drum. Yes, we're harrowing. Do I have two more? I, I do, but I don't want to tap my leveler. My leveler is necessary to victory, I think. We have very few kill conditions, actually. I think next turn uh, we attack and kill the Chitter Spitter. And uh, nip the big squirrel problem in the butt. Well, we might have to give. I wonder if they attack this turn. Probably? Nope. Probably. Uh, I can speak words. Believe me, please. Get rid of the Chitter Spitter. Shrink the squirrels. Make sure the worm coil takes lethal damage. Let's get our chaos wand. Huh. I 
guess I'm gonna make some squirrels. And, uh... Oh, wait. Careful. Yes. I actually want to exile from a graveyard. I don't want to get rid of the worm coil. So that it doesn't... Uh, appear in my nightmares. Let's play that. Uh huh. Oh, cool. I forgot who those are tokens. Uh huh. I think that's where we'll end it. Old gnaw bones. Well, that's very, very bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is definitely how this goes. We should actually just take out the death touch ones while we can. Thirteen treasure tokens. Oh, twenty six, right. Right, 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 right. I see what Yeah. Are we playing against a Nethroid <laughs> token storm deck? Because kind of mana production it's just not necessary unless that's the plan Resolve. So we basically need a miracle next turn. It's unfortunate that those aren't legal on Arena, so we're screwed. Pretty much screwed. I don't see any way around that. Do you have anything to bring back? I guess you can get the planeswalker, the chitter spitter. Not the chitter spitter, the not even the planeswalker. Right, Nethroid does not work like his ultimatum. So we're just dead, so we have to take out, doesn't matter what we take out, but I'm going to take out the parallel lies because that is the root of all the evils in this world. <laughs> Maybe they have a wrath. Maybe they have a wrath and we just don't know it.
Awake in the Woods is not what I was looking for, unfortunately. Yeah, GG opponent. Too much damage to the Lancers. Although we did some cool stuff. Like, we got, we got to play with Chaos Wand, which is... Which is a good game, in my opinion. Uh, how are we at the... We are at the point where we can refresh that. Black and red. Unfortunately, our deck is mostly green, so... That means it probably will not come up. Yeah, so I got four videos that I need to work on. I don't know. I've just been recording recently, and I haven't actually been putting anything together. <laughs> I mean, it's Christmas time, right? Like, the holidays are here. You don't really want to work. You just want to play. And God, I've been getting that done, but everything else is uh, a little iffy, honestly. Hey, we got a new card. Yeah, so I, uh, I cashed in my gems to get some dwarfs. And uh, as a result, I now own a teasing wormlet. Gonna play a mind stone. Look at that. He's already a uh, tutu. Gain one life. This is the first time. I think we're gonna play a Thran Spider. Come on, Rusko. You like uh, artifacts. Go up against K up. Who is definitely a blue player. I kind of want to play. I just need mana. I just need mana. There's no way around that, unfortunately. Magda is our best path to mana. She can attack and get a treasure token, and if we get a treasure token, we can play our Gilded Lotus, and if we play our Gilded Lotus, we're pretty set. Yeah, Rusko the Clockmaker is a bit insane, actually, because if you look at what he gives you, he gives you a 3-mana Mana Rock and a 3-3 three, three for 4 mana, uh, which is a bit above the curve, honestly. I was going to play my Scrap Trawler this turn, but I'm not now. Because uh, if you block with your commander... Well, I guess they might have just wanted to recast it, but that feels like a Wrath situation. Generally, if you see me on the ladder and I block with my commander, it's because I'm going to follow it up with a Wrath on my turn. you dwarf we need you to stay safe I gave him a two fort well no just still gonna block the teething wormlet okay to be fair the teething wormlet is pretty big it's pretty big oh my god it's only their hand right yeah it's, it's your hand
So I've, I've been on the MTG Reddit, and, well, I say I've been on it, I've been around it. I, it's one of the ones I follow. And I've heard some complaining about Rusko. Um, which I kind of, I'm not sure about yet. On one level, I get it. On another level, I think to myself, he's just making clocks, right? He's just making clocks. How dangerous could a man be that just makes clocks? I guess he kind of drained you for one. You gonna make another clockmaker? Yeah, our opponent is a bit one, one-minded. Hmm. That one. Our worm is actually, uh, actually good life gain here. I approve. Now you can't take a six life. There we go. We got a clockmaker dead. Fortunately, that's the real one, right? Yeah, that's the real one. So they can just cast him again. But yeah. They spend all the time casting clocks, we can just kill them. I guess we probably should have attacked with our angel too, but I don't want Platinum Angel to die. And you were the best wormlet I had. Wormlet. Every time I say wormlet, I think of omelets and This is supposed to be like some kind of young creature. And the fact that it's related in my head to the word omelet is just a little depressing. Just slightly depressing. Oh no. Bind to secrecy. So if you get five or more mana values in your graveyard, you too can have a resembling skeleton. Uh -huh. I guess there are some other cards in there too, but the resembling skeleton is basically a win, so. They conjured themselves a wormlet. I cannot believe it. Resolve. Uh huh. <laughs> huh. Well, that's our turn. I guess we can draw on more. Hey, Lodestone Golem. So we just need to do 11 more damage. How hard could that be? Probably not very. I'm hoping anyways. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the videos under 40 minutes hopefully under 30 so this will probably be my last game i think this is this my first game or is this my se this is my second game it's at least my second game because we lost one of them when uh we just didn't have the answer to the to the squirrels
sacrifice lodestone. Yeah, like that. Now we have to do 16 damage, which is pretty bad, but yeah. We can make it work somehow. What do we get? A lodestone golem? It's probably the biggest power among cards in the graveyard. And they were kind of an artifact deck too, so they don't really care. Like I think he's, I think Rusko is more interesting than Dargazar, uh, champion of Shiv. Like I like him better than that card, because while you're still getting free value off stuff, like getting a midnight clock to twelve counters even with extra counters from casting non-creature spells, isn't easy. Oh no. Well, this is probably the end, unfortunately. And I think I'm going to call it here, too. Because I, our first game was 12 minutes, and then our next game was 14 minutes. If we do another one, we're going to be at 40 minutes, which is unfortunate. We will get a we will get Mira right at some point in the future, hopefully. A bombback courier. Well, it's a it's a redraw at least. Ah, I don't have a leveler, man. GG opponent. You played a good game. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time around. Bye for now.